Hey, what are you doing out there? Oh, she thought it was a picture, so even better. Never looked manlier. Okay, so I know there have not been as many videos recently, um, and a lot of that's for a pretty obvious reason. I am in the final stages of preparing for nationals and uh, getting ready in training. And there's three days left right now, as I'm as I'm saying this. And there's also been, you know, in addition to focusing on training, it's been all-star season for my son in baseball, and I'm managing that team, and that's a big time sink. That's a big commitment of time. That's something that I focus on a lot. But neither of those things are really the reason. It's really a choice. It was really a choice to focus less on documenting this portion of it. And to be perfectly honest, what's happening in the weight room and what's happening on the field isn't that thrilling. You know, the weight room is... I've been in taper mode for two weeks now, so this last week it's been... You know, on the compound movements, have been five sets of two at 50 to 60 percent. It's just enough to keep my body stimulated to keep from going into rest mode, keep from going into deload. Um, and before that, it was all speed work. You guys have seen a bunch of that. And, you know, it honestly, it's worked out really well and it's given me the exact uh, result that I wanted. Every time I touch a barbell right now, every time I touch an implement, I feel electric. I feel like I'm ready to fire. And that's exactly the point. That's exactly why you do all that speed work. So, Feel pretty primed um, in terms of you know body weight, nutrition. Everything's going good right now. Um, you know I'm going to bed around 200 pounds. I'm waking up around 198 to 199. That's exactly where I want to be. I'll get a little de dehydrated from the travel. Always happens. So I'll just kind of ride that wave. It's really gotten to the point where I mean I'm just putting it out of mind. I'm not trying to make, like manipulate body weight. I just I am the weight. So that's that's kind of a luxury. That's a nice thing to have. Uh, I had a little bit of a cold earlier this week. And uh, my voice is a little, little rough because of it. I had a little bit of sore throat and cold, but I'm shaking off the last of that now. So, for a couple of days, I was retaining a little bit of extra water as I was trying to compensate for you know just what I lose being sick and being a little less active and have a little less food intake. You know, just kill my appetite a little. But um, overall, it's just it's not requiring a lot of thought right now. And I'm working to have a game a day before plan and a game day nutrition plan. Um, the day before, again, I can't do the kind of stuff I'd normally like to do where, you know, go out and get some food if I'm traveling, really eat big, you know, carb up. I can't do that as much because I do have to make weight in the morning. Um, you know, I'll still eat sensibly, I'll eat enough to fuel myself, but that just means that the, the nutrition on the day of the competition is extra important and I'm working with him to do that. And again, I, I, it's not something that I'm totally stressing about, but I also have that benefit of having people that I can lean on and people that I trust that I know are going to make the right decisions alongside me. So that helps a lot. You know, it's, and again, I talk about the benefit of coaching, the, you know, the value of coaching and having people that you trust, you know, you put things in their hands and that's, that's been great so far. Uh, on the throwing field, again, the emphasis has been on getting to my best throws within three to five reps. And that is really happening. It's really, I'm happy with that. I've always kind of had, when I'm healthy and when I'm throwing decently, I've always had you know, this kind of rhythm where I throw my best throws, usually the first or second throw in competition. And then uh, I feel comfortable then really going for it, going ludicrous speed on third reps. If I really need to get some more distance, just really just, just going crazy, going whirling dervish mode and just add some speed. 
So I feel like I'm there right now. I feel very comfortable with what I can throw um, you know, at a reasonable speed, and then if I need to add speed and get crazy on three, I can do it. I feel good about that. There were a couple things technically during the week um, that I was still worried about, especially on weights for distance. I was worried that I would not be able to hammer those things out because I was still making changes. But across my last practice in a couple of events, I was able to make adjustments you know, on the fly throughout the practice that led to good throws by the time that I was up to speed, that I was to competition speed. So I'm feeling really, really comfortable with that stuff now. And I think that is a consequence, one, of coaching, like I keep talking about. I've got great sets of eyes watching my throws right now. Um, you know, I've got Spencer Tyler, I've got Matt Vincent, I've got Aaron George, I've got, uh, you know, our coach from training like Keegan Dillon is even looking at him. I've got Josh Goldthorpe, we chat once in a while about throwing. You know, people all over the place that I trust with throwing. So it's a consequence of that, that I think I'm integrating all that stuff and then I can make changes on the fly quickly. And the other part is just the repetition. There's nothing better for throwing than throwing. And I've really seen that in the last month or two where I've been doing this prep, that the volume of throwing makes my ability to adjust on the fly and feel the throw so much better. So all that being said, I'm ready. I am ready for this competition. Uh, the preparation has been done. I am what I am at this point. There's nothing I can tweak and I can change that's gonna make me significantly better or worse. What happens is how, what matters now is how I execute on the field when I get there. That I just do the things that I've proven that I can do in training. Just get out there and express my training, express what I've been capable of. And I feel like I'm really ready to do that. Now, that being said, I have to assume all the guys in this field for lightweight nationals have been doing just the same that they're just as, if not more prepared than I am for this. So I can't control what they're doing. And I hope they bring their A game because I'm gonna bring mine too. I, I want everybody to be at the top of their game. I want it to be an entertaining class. I want it to be fun top to bottom. You know, I take this always part of things seriously. This is, I throw my best when it's fun, when it's enjoyable, when I'm enjoying myself out there. And that's what it's all about. This is a ridiculous thing that we're doing. Even in a national championship, this is still a fairly ridiculous thing we're doing, like most sports. We get to play a game out there, and we get to have an audience. We get to have a crowd that cheers for us. We get to have people that share this interest with us. That's awesome. So if I can carry that feeling, the way that makes me feel, onto the field in every throw, no matter what, the result's going to be great. So again, I'm ready. Let's do this.